Welcome to part one of our two-part mini-series looking into the wonderful world of the sea turtle. We have seen their beautiful faces here already a few times on the channel, like when we took a tour of the Great Barrier Reef. We have since received a few messages asking us to investigate them in a little more detail. So that is exactly what we have done. Occasionally, sea turtles are compared to dinosaurs due to their scaly reptilian appearance, and this may be no coincidence either, as sea turtles were around at the same time as dinosaurs. Yes, sea turtles as we know them today originally evolved 110 million years ago and have changed very little since. So not only did they coexist with dinosaurs for around 45 million years, but they also outlived them too, surviving the mass extinction event that took place around 65 million years ago. Whilst we humans recognise different races by their facial features and skin colour, you can tell sea turtle species apart by the colour, shape and pattern of their shells, called scutes, as well as the pattern of the scales on their faces. Each species features unique scutes patterns on their shells and faces that offer the only definitive way to distinguish between species. By using these features, not only can you tell sea turtle species apart, but you can also tell individual turtles, given that the scale pattern on a turtle's face is unique, just like a fingerprint. These unique patterns are now being used by conservationists to identify and keep track of individual sea turtles. The female turtle will lay her eggs deep into sand, where the eggs are fertilised, but the sex of each embryo is yet to be decided, for it will be the temperature of the sand during the middle portion of the 45 to 65 days of the turtle egg's incubation period that will determine whether the egg hatches as a boy or a girl turtle. As a rule, Eggs that incubate at temperatures above 31 degrees Celsius will produce 100% female sea turtles, whereas temperatures below 27 and a half degrees result in 100% male turtles. What happens in the in-between temperature range, you may ask? Well, those eggs that incubate between these temperatures will hatch as a rough mix of male and female turtle babies 50-50. So given that climate change may cause temperatures at nesting beaches to increase, the issue of an unbalanced sex ratio has become a topic of discussion. Having studied population calculations over 10 years, it was deduced that, on average, only one in every 1,000 sea turtle eggs will achieve adult turtle status. Once adults, sea turtles face few predators. In fact, their biggest threats are from us. But whilst hatchlings and juveniles, sea turtles are very vulnerable to predators. Just as soon as they leave the nest, hatchlings can become prey to almost any animal with the appetite. During their short journey from the nest to the ocean, hatchlings must avoid numerous predators, including birds like hawks and gulls crabs and even domestic animals like dogs. Then, once they reach the water, baby sea turtles enter a different environment again, being the potential target of large fish and sharks until they grow too big to eat. If the baby turtle makes it through the myriad of dangers we mentioned, they can live a long life. But a specific answer as to how long is not an easy one, even though scientists have studied them for many years. We do know that sea turtles have a long lifespan, with some individuals living between 50 and 70 years in the wild, and very possibly longer. The oldest known sea turtle is one named Myrtle, 
a green turtle that has lived at the New England Aquarium in the United States since 1970 and is estimated to be 90 years old. Do join us next time when we will return to the world of the sea turtle. Until then, it's bye for now. <laughs>